What's going on, sneaker fam? It's your boy Jake back uh, with another. <laughs> I was about to say real versus fake. I'm sorry, it's early in the morning. Um, with another review here. Um, my apologies to the 20 people that watched this first video because um, these are the Air Jordan 11 Columbias. Of course, these are the uh, uh, third party rendition, replicated version of it. Um, I think this is slated to release in November, uh, one of the holiday releases. Um, I had to delete the video. I didn't have to. I decided to delete the video because I made a huge, huge mistake. And someone decided to correct me on it. So I was like, okay, let me check and make sure. He was like, hey, man, um, you're wrong. The uh, the Jordan 11s, uh, the Columbias are the only ones that didn't come with an upper that was ballistic mesh. So I replied back to the dude and was like, hey, man, I'm going to check my original shoe from 96. And then, you know. And and then I, I get back with you. So before I even got a chance to reply and I checked my shoe and it when he was correct, you know, I replied back and I was like, hey, man, you're right. And next, you know, dude decided to just start belittling me. It's like, oh, you need to listen to forums and you need to do this and you need to do that and you need to listen. And maybe you're a child. It's like, dude, just belittling the brother, man. And I was about to reply and be like, yo, man, it, it ain't all that, bro. <laughs> you know, I made a mistake. I was going to correct myself. And usually I don't delete the video or anything like that. But I was like, you know what? Let me just delete it. Just start over, whatever, and do everything correct. Because I'm sure there have been more people just coming down, coming down, coming down. And usually I just say, hey, I made a mistake. And I pin the comment. And you guys read the comment. But it is what it is. Let's get on with the shoe now. This is the Fugazi version. It is the full uh, size retail box. And this is the way it's going to come. The typical, you know, Jordan 11, Jordan 9 box. You know what I mean? So no presentation like the old school Legend Blues. And my whole reasoning of me not calling these Columbia was I thought the upper <laughs> was ballistic mesh. But I stand corrected because I do have my original 96 shoe and I'm going to show it. And I still don't want to call it Columbia because look at that color. That color says Legend Blue. So... Hmm. You know what I mean? So let's pull these these shoes out. Columbia's were my first Air Jordan 11. I never bought any other one after that. So I was like, this is all I need. So back in the 90s, I didn't buy anything else but uh, the Columbia's. So I just felt like I needed one of each. Just one 11. No, except for the 13s. I bought multiple 13s. <laughs> And I bought multiple, I bought multiple um, 12s and 13s, huge fan. So, and I'm glad they finally retro these things because I never got the original, um, the retro legend blue because number one, they were big grades and then people were still trying to sell them for an exuberant amount of money. So that had me a bit upset too. So let's take a look at this. Let's do that 360, of course. Unless they call them Columbia Reimagined, because of course this has the high cut patent leather. Now, so that's that the new look 11. Um, midsole is solid. Of course, you can see that orange peel on the leather. Um, it looks pretty good, but usually most of the time that toe isn't sleek enough from the retail. I'm gonna take a look at the back. You can see that the outsole is the outsole is protruding out. From the shoe so that seems like that's most likely the top tier shoe the line is parallel with the peak here there you go everything looks good the 23 looks good the embroidering on the jump man looks pretty good and of course it has the typical thing you know the third spacing all the basic things that joint that junction here looks good not bad other than that toe you know what I mean? Which they could never get right. The sleek toe doesn't matter what factory you claim. You know, these fake factory names, PK, LJR, all that crap. Them boys don't get that toe right all the time. Yeah. Even if they adjust it a little bit, it won't be like retail regardless. All right. So like I was saying, I'm going to show my disgusting old 20 year old Columbia. Um, and here it is right here. And there it is, the upper is leather that's the ballistic mesh um one of my favorite shoes look how horrible that jump man looks on there but one of my favorite shoes especially playing ball in 
Um, they were so old. I kept playing them till the sole fell off. That's why you see this. I was, I was balling in them things, man. It was great. And just like the whole bottom just flopped off, man. Cause I had them in my attic <laughs> and then in South Florida. And of course that's just a recipe for disaster. And so I thought they were fine until I started balling in them and just, and I was like, won like three games in a row. I was like, I don't think I missed a shot. So the only thing that really stopped me <laughs> were the shoes. Gotta be the shoes. All right, so let's get on with it. Let's continue. So we're gonna take out um, the insole and it's not dream cell. It's that, uh, I'm curious to see what the retail pair is gonna look like. So we have the Nike Air branding. So with the Nike Air branding, I'm thinking it might they might call them Columbia because that's how they were back in 96. Uh, I never had a pair of Legend Blues. I might have to look inside. Um, I got a Fugazi pair over there. It might have a blue Jumpman in there. And if that's the case, then these might be Columbia's. So inside of this one, you can see the footbed. It's the, uh oh, you can't see. It's the light gray footbed uh, with... Uh, black stitching All right but i remember i think i looked at this one and this one had a stamp inside yeah this is the one so this one has a stamp on the inside yeah see that one has a stamp on the inside so um what i'm curious to see is uh how the retail pair will come uh would i have that dark gray footbag especially the uh state side version and will this one be another one of those controversies where everybody's ordering legend blues from off of goat and stock x and they're getting the one from overseas um the production date on this the production uh says sz so that mean they replicated this from the infamous sz factory so they replicated replicated this from the sz factory the real sz factory did not make this shoe don't get it twisted. Uh, just, just keep in mind what these shoes are. So I think I covered everything. The bottom looks good. Carbon fiber shank. You know how we do it. <laughs> you guys know how it's done. Um, let's take a look at that union on this one. This one's not as good as the left shoe. I mean, right shoe. This is the left shoe that's in my hand. But yeah, all in all, excellent shoe. Excellent shoe. Totally digging it. Can't wait for the retails to come out. And then do a comparison on it. Super digging it. Um, let me blacklight them right quick. And I'm going to uh, shut this video down. Uh, let's see what's going on here. Looks good under the black light. We got the outsole glowing. Don't see any that much residue of haze. Now you'll definitely see that on the retail pair. I can tell you that now. So they cleaned these up pretty well. This video is longer than my last one as well. Because I had to explain myself. So I had to add another two minutes to this thing. So there you have it. It is what it is. Nice shoe. Can't wait for them to come out. Can't wait for them to come out, man. All right. Like, comment, share, subscribe. It's your boy Jake signing out. Appreciate you guys. Peace.